I can't sleep with all that banging. What on earth is going on down here? Grandpa, I heard a weird sound and I was wondering if... Oh, uh, okay. Grandpa's bashing up the smart TV again. He really hates it when there's ads and he seems to think the ads are stored inside that box. Bashing it with a hammer is not going to make those ads go away. We're just going to have to subscribe to premium. This is getting ridiculous. I need to find Granny. Granny, where are you? He's doing it again. I don't know if anyone else has someone like this in their family. I just feel like my grandpa is always overreacting to like very minor inconveniences. Like this has happened before. The last TV got smashed up because grandpa thought that they were repeating the ad too frequently for family size chicken bargain buckets. Grandpa's like, I will not feed the whole family for under $20. Anyway, I've been trying to explain to grandpa that generally we do not solve our problems with bashy bashy hammers. And if that is a sentiment you agree with, please give this video a thumbs up. I think that grandpa has a lot he can learn from us. Unfortunately, he doesn't really listen to me. He does sometimes listen to my granny, so I'm hoping she's somewhere down here in the uh, dungeon craft room. Hard to find room in the main house for a loom, so when granny's doing her weaving, she usually- <gasps> Yo, wait all the fisherman's friends. I'm sorry, I just helped myself. I didn't know it was the last one. Grandpa, I've had a cough. I've had a sore throat. He does not care for that one bit. I'll go down the shops, I promise. Just gotta find granny, tell her I need to run to the 7-Eleven. Secret button might help possibly, with this situation. Grandpa, I know you're upset, but we have to practice our emotional regulation. Or I'll just close the door. All right, well, that was unnecessarily dramatic. It is hard to know what to do when obviously I am the child in this situation, but my grandpa is the one acting like a toddler. Like you cannot smash the TV every time you're watching a YouTube video and it gets interrupted by an ad asking if you've considered building a business website using Wix. And you should not chase your granddaughter down in anger just because she eats all of your favorite flavor of Fisherman's Friends. In summary, Grandpa's out of control. The only thing that I can reasonably do in this situation is find Granny, let her know what's going on, and get an adult to deal with it. It is a bit weird that I haven't seen Granny in a while, but I'm, I'm sure she's down here somewhere. That or she got sick and tired of Grandpa's whinging and decided to head off into the night. Hey, that's an idea. Maybe I'll head off into the night. I thought I asked you to trim these hedges. Look at the state of them. No, Grandpa, we can't be losing our temper over the topiary. I might have to hide in the cellar until this situation cools off. Grandpa is extremely particular about the yard work. Is he not coming down? That's good. All right, team, let's find somewhere to hide. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, it's uh, not a secret basement with a secret room and a secret button that opens a secret door. Definitely not that. Probably a good idea to go check out where that secret room isn't. I guess it's not this way. Definitely not found by pressing this button. Oh, something's shaking. Wow, I can't wait to see what's in the definitely not secret room. Hypothetically, if you had a secret room, what would you put inside? Let me know in the secret comment section the secret contents of your secret room. Personally, that's where I would store my secret diaries and also the fact that I have gills. This secret room is a lot more lava focused than I expected. I don't know why the lava has to be a secret. Secret geothermic activity beneath Mimon Peepaw's house. I guess they're pretty private people. They probably just don't want the neighbors knowing that they have large, large stores of lava beneath the backyard. Oh, there's somebody there. Maybe it's Granny. Gran, is that you? Why are you wearing that horned hat? I mean, it's gorgeous, but oh no, it's Grandpa too, the great. Oh, this is bad. You know things are getting serious when Grandpa dons his chain mail. I haven't seen him this angry since I accidentally ate all of his favorite color of jujubes. That time I also had to break out the crossbow, which admittedly is not a great solution, but sometimes he leaves me no choice. Okay, now I really need to find Granny. She told me specifically that I need to let her know every single time Grandpa brings out his broadsword. It's a bit of an indicator as to how he's doing emotionally. I don't know if I've ever used this lift before, and oh, okay, this is um, this is a bit different. Granny and Grandpa's house is enormous, so I guess it's not a huge surprise that I haven't been in this room before, but I am a little bit confused about what the um, what the shape business is all about. Actually, maybe this is the playroom. Maybe when my little cousins come to visit, this is where they hang out. Yeah, that's probably it. This looks like a perfect place for toddlers. Just a nice, dark, moldy basement where you can learn basic geometry. But if you match them correctly, the door mysteriously opens. And then in theory, I guess they should lead back to the house and... Um, what's happened in here? Oh, this has Grandpa's fingerprints all over it. Look, he's framed his favorite hammer. Wow, he has smashed up the entire floor. Now, why do we think he did that? I tripped on the rug, and that made me very, very angry. 
Okay, that does feel pretty on brand for Gramps. I do really wish that he had thought about this a little bit more before he smashed up all the floorboards, because I don't think you're less likely to trip and fall now. I think there's actually quite a few more hazards. Things are getting serious. Granny? Granny, where are you? I don't mean to interrupt the crochet club, but we've got a bit of a situation in the house. Thank goodness we got this pile of planks that aren't all smashed up. You might have to use some of these to make my way through the living room. Build some bridges to freedom. That didn't work. Look at that painting. Oh my gosh. The framed picture of Grandpa with his favorite hammer. Sometimes I swear that hammer is his favorite grandchild. Like, I swear he spends more time with that hammer than he spends with any of us. It's like, look around this house. Have you seen a single picture of me anywhere? I haven't. Just Grandpa on his hammer. You know what? I gotta get away from that portrait before I start to feel genuinely jealous of the relationship that my grandpa has with his favorite hammer. Sorry, I'll never be her. Grandma, you in the garage? You doing some glass cutting in here? Wow, she is not in here either. Did she leave? What pushed her over the edge? And was it this poster? Maybe I'll just open up the garage door. I hope that's what this button does. Oh. Oh no, it opens up a, another secret room. Nothing but secret rooms in this place. I believe I can okay, we got a bit of a high-powered fan situation here. Makes it very difficult to control the trajectory of your jumps. Just trying to not get a head injury. Ooh, that did not look good. But there's no time to lie around because Grandpa is on a rampage, so I might just escape down here through the uh, sewer. I've decided it's time to look further afield for Granny. But first, I am thirsty, so I might just grab something quick out of this vending machine. Oh good, it's definitely not a sewage soda. That's a good thing, because I didn't want to get a sewage soda. I don't even know what that is. Is it just like carbonated sewage juice? And oh, I seem to have gained special sewage skills. Why do I have super sewage speed if that was not a sewage soda as promised? I think that product label might have been lying to me. I can't believe someone would put a false claim on a package. But this might make it faster for me to find my grandma unless I burp it all out. Terrible timing. But that's alright, we're gonna climb on up to the surface. We're gonna find Granny. We're gonna let her know that Grandpa has been acting extremely out of pocket. I don't know what he's gonna do next, but I don't think that anything could surprise me. Okay, so this has surprised me. Oh no, it's mechanized emergency response Grandpa! Or as his friends like to call him, Merge! Oh my gosh, he's still got that hammer. Grandpa, why do you like spending time with that hammer more than me? What if we learn to hammer things together? Why is he walking into a wall like that? Grandpa's lost the plot. He's not well. Do you know where you are? Are you aware that you have put on a mech suit and fought your granddaughter? Okay, I guess that's mechanized Grandpa defeated. Going to be quite awkward at Thanksgiving when I have to explain why Grandpa is not coming to dinner. You know what? I might just start a new life as a cruise ship entertainer. All aboard the Alaskan cruise liner, we are heading from Grandpa's house to Skagway. New life, here I come!